Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here, and we're going to do another beer review today. Um, this is by, um, this is brewed and canned by Cerveceria Modelo Nava, Mexico, and this is called Corona Extra, and it's imported from Mexico. This is what the can looks like. 24 ounce bomber can I picked up in the local grocery store for about three bucks out the door and um, looking for the ABVs here um, I don't think it's listing the ABVs but I'm guessing it's anywhere from four to five percent I'll post that in the uh, description later and it's got um some kind of code on the back on the bottom so there's no date on it Corona Extra La Cerveza Mas Fina imported beer from Mexico brewed by Cerveceria Modelo okay well I've had this before a few times um, but it seems like every time they they gave it to me they screwed it up by putting a lime in it um, I don't know why they do that. Uh, this is the this is how I roll with beer. If you have to put food in your beer, it's it's a bad beer. You shouldn't have to put food in your beer to make it taste good. So hopefully um, this will taste good without the uh, lime. I didn't care for it with the lime, but I don't ever recall having it without a lime because they always automatically put the lime in it without even asking you. So anyways, um, I've never really bought this for myself. This is the first time I ever purchased a Corona for myself to enjoy and to review. So let's get it cracked open and see what we got here. So I'm assuming this is a lager. I think it's cool they put it in the can so that would keep it fresher, keep it tasting better longer. So we have a huge uh, frothy creamy silky looking head and uh, we have a crystal clear yellow color. Just a couple of bubbles streaming up from the bottom. Looks like a typical adjunct lager. Macro brewery lager Modelo. It's a huge macro brewery. A lot of people just drink the hell out of this stuff. They love it. It's got a cult following. It's pretty inexpensive beer. Okay. Crystal clear. Looks refreshing in the glass. It's leaving some lacing on the glass there. It's got a really nice head too. Let's get an aroma on this puppy. Okay, I get a real faint, like either corn or a barley note. Kind of sweet smelling, a little grainy. Actually, it smells pretty good. It smells sweet. Let's get a hit. Cheers. It's kind of grainy a little bit tasting. It's got a very slight kind of grainy nuttiness to it.
can taste the malt. There's just a little something that's slightly off-putting about it though. Might be the hops they're using. There's just something slightly bitter in, in a weird way about it. It's got a, just a touch of something slightly off-putting about it. Other than that, it's pretty good. It's kind of like a, I think it might be like an earthy kind of a grassy wild kind of a hop they're putting in there. It's just a little bit, just slightly off-putting. But other than that, it's pretty good actually. It's, it's crisp and refreshing. It's got a medium light mouthfeel. Yeah, you get the kind of malt, either barley or corn, and it's a little bit sweet, but then at the same time, there's this kind of a earthy kind of a hop note in there that's just a little bit, just slightly kind of off-putting. But the malts have a slight nuttiness to them too, though. But it's not that bad. I don't think you have to put any lime or anything in it. I think it would be, it's better, it's definitely better without the lime in my opinion. It's actually leaving a pretty good head. I don't know why they're putting limes in this stuff, it's much better without it in my opinion. I mean, the, the, the off-putting note that I have is just, I think, the hops they're using. Other than that, it tastes fine. It tastes pretty good. And the more I'm drinking it, the more I'm getting used to it, and the less off-putting it is. It's leaving some good lacing on the glass, though. It's a big, good beer to drink on a hot day if you're actually thirsty. You want to quench your thirst. Or if you're hanging out with some people and you're, you're going to session some beers. Be a good candidate. It's very light. <clears throat> it's leaving some lacing. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. And now, now that I've drank ha almost half of it, it's really not off-putting anymore. I'm, I'm used to it, whatever it was. It could just be my taste buds too. I don't know. But it drinks really easy. It's not too shabby. Um, I've had worse, that's for sure. Yeah, it's got a graininess to it. That's not too bad. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. It's not that shabby. Um, that's pretty much what I got on this beer. Um, on a scale of one to five stars, 2.5, two and a half being just C average. I'm going to give this puppy, um, even with the slight hop off, you know, the hop issue I was having a little bit, I'm still going to give this, I think it's a little bit better than average just because it has a pretty tasty little um, malt note going there in it. I'm gonna have to give this like 2.6. So I'll have the description of this beer at the bottom of the video in the description set uh, section. Yeah, just a just a score over average. But uh, I mean, it's it's beer and it, it's drinkable and uh, 2.6 it is. That's my story and I'm sticking with it. I'll have the description of this beer at the bottom of the video in the description section. Please like and subscribe if you already haven't. And uh, thanks for stopping by. We'll catch you all later. See ya.